Welcome to Artist Spotlight again. Today we have Nak Yong Choi. He is a concept artist and uh, uh, illustrator, among other things. How you doing, Nak? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Thank you for joining us here on Artist Spotlight, man. Yeah, so, um, I was awesome. um, born in Seoul, South Korea, and I was raised in Hawaii um, since I was eight years old. And now I'm currently in Los Angeles, in California. Uh, um, so I work in um, TV and film, and I came to California for college. Um, so I went to Cal Arts to study character animation there, and ended up working in animation after that. At what point in your life did you know that you wanted to do animation and the film thing and, and cartoons and things of that nature? When I was little, I was very fat. Um, and uh, I didn't speak English at all, so I got bullied a lot. Um, so the only friend I had was this like a Mickey Mouse doll that my parents gave me. And every Saturday morning, I would like hold the Mickey Mouse doll and I'll watch Saturday morning cartoons. And I'll be like, whoa, like I feel like you can do that for a job. Um, so I dreamed about um, being an animator one day, one day and working at Disney. Um, so that's how it kind of came to be. But I just had this amazing teachers at the University of Hawaii who said, hey, Nock, you know, like, just go after your dreams. And um, there was a news article that said, like, CalArts is one of the best animation school there. And my parents had no money. Uh, so I had to, like, kind of make my own path. And they also don't speak English at all. So I had to figure out the financial aid stuff, applying to college all by myself. Um, and I just kept going. And I just reached for the college and I got accepted into it. And just that just led me on the journey. Explain to me exactly a concept artist and what that does. Yeah, so a concept artist is uh, we create visuals for the ideas, so we help the dreams to come true. So we'll have anywhere from directors, art directors, to executives, um, to a whole different team, and they'll be like, hey, we want to create this project, we want to create this film, um, can we design a character? So concept artist is a character designer and a visual development artist, so we do backgrounds and things like that. Um, you don't just do the character you the backgrounds and everything okay gotcha okay yeah 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 so it's like a, any kind of concept and you make it into art i use photoshop a lot of adobe um adobe premiere is really great after effects um now i'm also getting into um vr vr is changing um a lot of the old pipelines they used to have so before we used to have like a 3d modeler then you need a rigger and then you need a writer um lighter and then render things um now when you just use vr um, we use oculus rift and an app called quill you can just cr quickly create prototypes one of the main things i hear um, from like people who's getting into the industry they're like oh you know like, i don't know who to like talk to or i feel scared and things like that um start with the people close to you um your teachers your upperclassmen um people who graduate or nowadays like social media is so crazy where you can just DM anyone and like from time to time I get DMs from like, people like hey like I love your art I'm in LA like can I like grab coffee with you I'll be like yeah sure and I grab coffee and then we become friends and then if they're like job openings like, I refer them to them um, so there's things that happen so don't be afraid to just reach out and ask yeah um, when I fail, um, I get excited because it means I'm learning, you know, um, my parents were like, don't ever fail. Like you have to be like safe, be a doctor, a lawyer and stuff like that. Um, but the more people I studied, um, the famous people like JK Rowling, um, Oprah Winfrey, um, they have all failed on an epic scale. Um, but they allow their failure to be their foundation to be who they are. Um, so now I believe that uh, the, fa the word fail, it stands for um, few attempts in learning. Um, so when you fail, um, I want us to be excited. It's like, oh man, like I learned something. I gained something. Be present online. Um, brand yourself. Um, don't be afraid to like DM people, connect with people, send like genuine compliments to people you look up to. Um, like an, like an artist at Disney or Pixar or DreamWorks or any kind of illustrator or like actor, just DM them like, hey, I love your work. Go see their shows. Um, be, become part of that. 
uh, women in animation, they hold a lot of mixers, they hold a lot of panels. Um, and it's a fantastic way of meeting recruiters there. Um, go to like the animation expos. Uh, you can meet the professional artists there and apply, just keep applying. And just yeah, patience and gratitude for yourself and for others and for what's to come. It's working. I'm a couple mm -hmm. of Yep. So uh, I love to ask questions. What is design? Design is basically in one word. What is the difference of it? So how big is the difference? Is is the arm bigger than the legs, or is it smaller right. than the legs? What are the bodies? The colors, the tones, and the lines. The triangle. What kind of feeling do you get from a triangle? So the question the kids will say blah blah yeah. blah. I'm like let's explore that. A triangle in nature. A triangle in our world. A triangle can be dangerous. So we get a lot of villains in the mm. shapes of triangles. Mm -hmm. Even the silhouette of this character is a triangle. Mm -hmm. So the triangle is all about oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. evil. Oh no, right. evil. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. It's pointy. Um, but on the flip side, if you were to flip the triangle, we kind of get a different feeling for you for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, is there like a feeling that you get from upside down triangle? What happens to it? You get superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> you get Batman. That's um, and and this is observed from real life. When you yeah. like buff up your chest and right. you do this muscle pose, you get this big triangle. So it creates this like a very masculine uh, Falco punch, uh, Hulk smash. Hi, mm -hmm. I'll beat you up like a mad macho man, macho woman feeling. Mm -hmm. Very majestic. But if you narrow that triangle down again it becomes very villainous it becomes mm. quite evil and mm. this is a villain from ratatouille now let's take a look at a rectangle what kind of feeling do you get from a square blah 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 they say those things uh, and i say a square in our world is like comes from buildings our society is built on squares our furniture often comes in squares our boxes and even robots Wally comes in a square, but look at his eyes. See how round that is? So we notice how round um, things are in our main characters. So for Pixar, when they're designing Wally, they wanted to create this robotic thing, but they gave it the biggest circle eyes to make sure you love this character. Right. So in an um, animated film, what happens is that um, you get a script. A script is words of ideas that a director has. And they were like, I think this is what the story is going to be like. Can you design a character? So obviously, when we start designing a character for Disney or Pixar, an animated film, you don't have a version like this. What we, what we start off is something like this. We'd be like, okay, in the, char <laughs> in, yeah, in the story, Carl is someone who's kind of stuck in the past. So he's going to be mainly a square um eleanor his lover his wife she was full of love so she's going to be very circular um kevin this is the bird character um they're like it's gonna be very wild um this kevin is going to jump around a lot so it's gonna be a triangle with a lot of um edges to kind of show that speed the dynamic in the design so isn't it really fascinating and amazing how with using simple shapes, you come up with these really amazing characters. Yeah. And just by looking at the character, the silhouette, um, you're immediately able to tell what this character is all about. Right. So let's look at Frozen. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Uh, what are the main shapes do you see on Anna? So when you look at the hair, uh, you see a circle and then you see a triangle there. But it's kind of like soft triangle, right? So throughout the film, she's a main character and she's all about the action. She has to go here. She has to do this. She has to save her sister. Now let's look at the next character. Uh, what is this main shape? Um, if you have a hard time seeing what the main shape is, simply squint and you can kind of see what the biggest shape is. Yeah. And when you look at triangle. his chest, is um it's a square it's a very squarish oh. face um, yeah. uh, it's very blocky right mm. um, rectangular so in the movie you often see him when anna's like hey let's go here we have to do this uh christopher will be like oh no that's dangerous i don't want to go there let's not do it <laughs> yep. you know he's stuck where he is um and look at let's look at this character 
What's his main shape? It's a very pointy triangle. So he is quite villainous. Uh, he's a villain in the story. He's a bad guy. So how do you design characters? Um, there are three ways. And pretty much just imagine it. Um, just imagine and daydream what kind of characters you want to create. Is it a fairy? Is it a witch? Is it a wizard? Is it a knight? Uh, is it a lion? Is it an animal? Um, there can be so many different things. And another thing I like to do is I love to pull from life. So for me personally, I have really funny aunties. Um, they're really wild. So when I'm designing a bunny, I'll be like, oh man, like the character, the personality of this bunny is like my auntie who's very loud and very spontaneous. So when you pull from life, it becomes something from you. So by imagining and pulling from life, you are able to reinvent create a whole new character that is uniquely yours. Love that. Thank you so much for having me. So You're so fantastic and wishing you the best. Thank you so much.